a 76 kilogram bungee jumper tied to a 38 meter long cord. Uh, leap off the bridge whose deck is 68 meter above the water. He falls 7 meter above the water before the bungee cord pulls him back up. What is the magnitude of the impulse exerted on the bungee jumper while the cord stretches? Uh, so basically, uh, when the bungee jumper is jumps uh, up to here, up to here, basically, uh, the, there is no effect of the cord. Okay, and at this point, at this point. Uh, the court will start exerting some variable forces on the man okay so we have to find the impulse now the impulse is equal change in momentum and mass change in velocity or we can say m v final minus v initial okay in the bracket now v final is basically uh, when it stops at seven meters, so it's equal to zero. And V initial, we have to find what is the V initial at this point, okay? So it's simply, uh, you can use two ways. One is conservation of energy. The other one is just a kinematic equation where V uh, final squared is equal V initial squared plus two, uh, G uh, L okay so initially is equal to zero so from here we final is equal to G L where 2 multiple 9.8 L is 38 meters so if you do calculation that should give you uh, 20 7.3 meter per second so uh, then if you plug this to the final equation where impulse is equal mass is given which is 76 kilogram and change in momentum is basically uh, the final 0 minus 27.3 now, since we know that velocity is pointing down, uh, it should be a negative velocity, and negative with negative, I think finally you should get just a positive impulse, okay? Because impulse is a scalar product, so you should get only plus number 76 multiplied 27.3, which gives you impulse of 20, 2074 okay kilogram meter per second